one more tumor marker that could be commonly used is the beta hcg human chorionic gonadotropin also called as beta hcg is a glycoprotein synthesized by the syncytiotrophoblastic layer of the normal placenta beta hcg is positive in pregnant women this is what we test in the urine as a pregnancy test but serum and urine beta hcg in early gestation is common but it it peaks in the first trimester so if the beta hcg is elevated beyond the first trimester elevation of gestational trophoblastic disease uh, elevated in gestational trophoblastic disease a progressive rise after the first trimester of gestation is highly suggestive of chorea carcinoma in normal pregnant women beta hcg levels keep on increasing up to the end of 90 days from then onwards to start as a stationary are falling but if the beta hcg is increasing after 90 days we have to consider it is not normal pregnancy but it is molar pregnancy or chorea carcinoma elevated in testicular cancer and beta hcg after surgery also uh, we can see the beta hcg levels are elevated normally beta hcg is absent in men only in men who have testicular cancer beta hcg is positive it is used to monitor treatment response relapse and recurrence